All right, today we have Combiner More Wars Rodimus. Uh, Rodimus is the replaint of Blackjack, which can go with uh, Minasaur, who I have here in the background back here. We'll take a look at that. Um, but this is Rodimus, and this is um, Rodimus is supposedly kind of a wiser version of Hot Rod. So he's not Rodimus Prime, he's not Hot Rod, he's just Rodimus. So um, anyway, that's who he is. So again, so this is kind of the legend size. Uh, he's a pretty decent size and he has some pretty good uh, posability, but let's take a look at the packaging first. Again, you see the normal black and red. Um, we have a nice sculpt here on the front. And let me say here, this is one of the first few guys where if we open this up and we take a look at the art on the card, you can see this it actually is blasters coming out of hand. It actually kind of looks a little bit like Wolverine. But you can see this uh, is different than what we have actually as the artwork here. Um, so here it's much different. You know, he has an arm sticking out versus the other one. He had the other one. So it is kind of a little different. It's nice to have something uh, special here in terms of a little special piece of artwork, which I picked this up at Target for like ten ninety nine, I think, or. Um, Anyway, not worth 10.99, but it's still pretty good. All right, so you flip to the back. You can see here, here's his alt mode and his little racer. You can see this goes on the back, kind of like his like yellow fin normally would have. And there he is in his robot mode. And he's a brass warrior, has the makings of a skilled commander and an honorable leader. So he has the makings, but he's not really quite there yet. All right, so let's take a look at him himself. I'll have to zoom in a little bit for this. Okay. So one thing I do have to say is they put a lot of paint apps on this guy, and I really do dig that. So let's look at the figure when he's in robot mode, and we'll kind of look at some of the paint apps, and then we'll go ahead and do the transformation. Uh, let's move this down a little bit. Okay. So first of all, he's got some really nice feet. You can see they're, they're pretty big right here, so you can really stand him a lot of ways, and uh, he, he doesn't have an issue with that at all. But in terms of the paint apps, we got yellow here, we have silver, we got the really finely detailed Autobot symbol. If you can see that right here, you can see it's very nice. Um, the, the head, it's got yellow, silver, and blue. And this is a tiny head. Look how small this head is, my finger. And the paint apps are applied exquisitely. They do not run anywhere. He's got this really nice uh, metallic dark blue for the shield of his car. If you go down, again, you got the silver on this side. If you go down here, you have some black almost kind of like a gunmetal gray, almost black, and then a little bit more silver, silver down here at the end of his feet. So in terms of the paint apps, they really didn't spare much expense with this guy. Now at the same time, you can say for his waist, you know, that could have pan painted a little bit more around here, uh, but really they made this guy look about as pretty as they have for any character this size. Now he comes with this uh, kind of like this battle ax. You know, he can hold it here like this, you know, it kind of be like some sort of big old fin, but he can use it as a battle axe, you know, something like that. And this will obviously slap back on the car. And let's take a look at now and see how we can move. So, first of all, this guy is ball jointed up the wazoo. So he has some really good flexibility, posability. His head is not on. Yes, yeah, so his head is also on a ball joint. You can barely see it. Actually, I think it's just a swivel. It just actually can move back a little bit, but that is just a swivel. So it can go back and forth. They can go back a little bit here, but that's just because it's just a little loose. Shoulders, ball joint. Obviously, it can go any direction. You can see the ball joint right there. Same thing as this. This is actually on a swivel right here and then a hinge right here uh, for his elbow. So it, the elbow can hinge back and forth but it can also turn, it's basically like a ball joint. There is no hip uh, waist articulation, so he cannot move his waist whatsoever. Again, however though, his hip and his knee is both are both on ball joints. So this guy can really go any way you want to go. Uh, let's see if we can do the kickboxing stand here. Oh, just had it. There you go. So you can see, you can this guy's very, very poseable. You can pretty much do anything you want with him. All right, so let's take a look at the transformation, and then we'll show you how he fits in Minasaur's chest, which is also pretty cool. And obviously, he doesn't fit just in Minasaur, but he can also fit in uh, Ultra Primes as well. 
So the first thing you want to do is we want to go ahead and pull the hood up and it kind of exposes this inner area and you can pull this whole piece together. Okay. Now you want to flip. Now that you have it, you want to flip the whole piece down and push it back into place just like this and you'll feel it, it snaps in right here at the front so it looks kind of like he has some, a little bit of shocks but that is also the shoulder piece that you can see right here so let's go ahead and then everything else really just fits in nicely you don't even have to turn the feet at all just go ahead and peg them in together like this and you can put that on okay it's the same thing with the arms you can see right where the arms go you can see this flame right here is part of the hood so you just rotate this in and then rotate this piece down and snap it in same thing here rotate this piece up rotate the side door down and then just snap it in and there you go there is the car so let's show you a size comparison here is bombshell who is another one of his wave mates. Um, you can see here, Bombshell looks much bigger than him, obviously. <laughs> you know, the little car versus a gigantic insect. Uh, I don't think the insects were that big relative to the cars on the show, but that's what he looks like here. So there's a little bit of a size comparison. Hold them up like this, fairly similar. Um, but there's a little more girth on Bombshell. And then we have two little slits right here. And you'll see that the other little tabs right here on the back of his weapon. So you can stick the weapon just like this when he's in the car mode, like that. There you go. You can see in the light right there, that blue really sticks out. So it's really is a metallic blue. You can really get some really good uh, looks at it. So he rolls pretty good. Um, I'd say the wheels, you can see here, they don't roll as well as a lot of other cars wheels do. And they're, they're just kind of cheap. They're kind of like the ones on the Bumblebee uh, when he came with, I can't remember the name of the guy, but the, the two pack where he had the little helicopter that became his sidearm. It's kind of like those type of wheels. They just don't roll all that well. You can see there, you can see inside here, they're just kind of snapped in. Um, but if you want to do anything, you know, a lot of these, I would paint these silver, uh, but the black on black actually looks pretty good. Okay. So now if you want to put him on Minasaur or on ultra prime, one thing you want to do is you want to change this and you want to put it on here like this now you can either put the guy on this way or you can flip it and put it like this so it doesn't really matter which way you put this on it's just which way the front of the car is facing now if you turn the car underneath you will see that there are two holes one right here and one right here now let's bring Minasaur up and readjust the camera and you'll see exactly why these holes are important Okay, so if you look at Minasaur, he has two little tabs right here and right here. So when we go ahead and we put him in, these little holes are going to go right in the tabs. So let's go ahead and really you just kind of center him and stick him on. It's as simple as that. There you go. So there he is on Minasaur. So you can see he fits in pretty good. You know, he doesn't stick out all that much. If you look here to the side, he stays on pretty good. And um, yeah, he doesn't look bad on Minasaur. Obviously, Blackjack would look better because Blackjack would be the purple and the black more like Minasaur is. Uh, so that would be a little bit of a better guy. And there we go, he just fell off. Okay, so that's how you put him on Minasaur. And now let's go ahead and take him and change him back to back to his Autobot form. And then we'll do a size comparison with this guy as well. So this one's pretty easy. Again, remember you just kind of pull these out, unsnap the legs. All these guys are pretty much a couple steppers. And then fold out and see the head. Then we just flip the whole thing over. There you go. Oops, ball joint. So there you go. You can see him transform there. So let's go ahead and transform uh, Bombshell, which is also just as easy. And we'll 
could do a size comparison of these guys. So although Bombshell looked a lot bigger and Robot, he also is just slightly, sorry, in uh, alt mode, he's just slightly bigger in um, the Robot mode. So however, Bombshell does not have a weapon not like Rodimus does. So I think this is a pretty decent repaint for Rodimus. He looks pretty good. Um, and he fits in with some of these other characters on this same size. So we can bring in this guy as well. You know, he, he looks pretty good there also. So you can see he fits in pretty decent with all the rest of the size guys. Anyway, so that's a quick little review of the Legends Rodimus um, from the Transformers Combiner War series. Go ahead and like this. If you have any questions, go ahead and set them into the comments section and uh, please like and subscribe to my page. All right, thanks a lot.